Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to make a video for you guys on how to submit comics to CBCS. So uh, the difference between CBCS and CGC, there's one difference in regard to pre-screening comics. Uh, uh, CGC, you can pre-screen for one grade, so, but you have to send in 25. So if you send in 25 books, you can pick a grade like nine, eight, nine, six, and they can all they all have to be that grade or better. In regard to that, if any of them do not pass, you get the book back ungraded and you get charged five dollars. Now the difference with CBCS is you you can send in one comic and pre-screen it. Um, but let's say you decide to send in ten. Um, you can do different grades, all right. And if 70% of your books pass, right, out of the 10, seven pass, and three don't, 70%, the three you don't get charged for. Um, if more fail than 70%, they charge you $4, which is less. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to fill out the pre-screen portion of CBCS's form, and I'm going to tell you why I'm doing it. And why yeah why i'm doing it okay so i i'm making a gigantic video that will be coming out in a couple months okay um it's from how i pick the books why i pick a certain grade stuff like that this is just one of the portions i'm, I'm almost to the point of this major video where i'm sending them all in um so i'm going to show you probably 10 of the books there's two more in the press and then I'll probably ship it off. But I wanted to get this part filmed for you guys. And I am doing it on a 720p on StreamYard because it's easier for me to show you how I'm doing everything. And when I'm done, I can actually submit. I don't have to go back. So uh, what I'm going to do is, for instance, this book's going in. Captain America, number 100. Now, I pressed it. Now, I put on here 7 or better so that when I enter it in, I remember 7 or better. But what I had really done was looked at prices. I had another, for an example, I had another comic where I looked at the acceptable grade range. Um, so like here, a 3.5 would sell for $325. That's one of the comics that's in the press right now. A 4.0 would 455 So what I decided was 3.5 was the lowest grade I was willing to take on a submission, right? So... I wrote down the different price ranges to find out what they were selling for. So in regards to this, which is a different book, 7.0 was that low number that I was willing to accept. Okay? If that makes any sense. I don't want to throw you off because this video is made for a different reason. So these are the books I'm going to send in, and then I'm going to show you how to fill out the form. Captain America 100. 7.0 or better. That's what I want on it. Shazam, number 28, 8 0 or better. That was the reasonable price, I, a grade I wanted to get. And I had graded the books accordingly. And I said, ooh, the low end, it's an 8. And then I pressed it, okay? Secret Wars, number 8, 9 4 or better. Uh, this is a bonus book, and I'll show you what it is, but it's Thor 6 second print. It's signed by Donnie Cates. Uh, I'm going to send it in to get verified. Even though it has a COA, I can get a verified signature yellow label. That's just a bonus to this video. Marvel Team Up 141, 9 4 or better. So basically, I'll select 9 4. And if they think it's a 9 6, they'll give me a 9 6. But if it's a 9 2, they'll return it to me. I have two of these Next Men, first Hellboys. I have nine two or better on both. I'm expecting one to get higher than that, but those are the acceptable grades. Amazing Spider-Man 31. 4.0 or better. Shazam number one, nine zero or better. And Amazing Spider-Man 361, nine four or better. Okay. So there's a couple others I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to show you right now how to use the advantage of CBCS in regard to pre-screening your books. So let's go. 
I'm going to go ahead and take us to the uh, screen now. Okay, so I've gone to the screen and I've gone to submit books, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to fill out the book. So the first book I have here is Amazing Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man. Okay. Issue 361. Okay, this could be an opinion ask because I don't remember the year on this. 19... It's like 1992. 1992. Publisher, Marvel. You can select Marvel Comics. Pedigree, none. Insured value. I can't remember. I had prices on it, but let's just say $100. Okay, here's where you want right here. Grade screening true, Okay. So I said on this, I wanted a 9-4 or better. So I select 9-4, okay? Now you have options here to press. I'm not doing any of that, okay? I want a 9-4 or better. So it, if, you, if you look here, it tells you I have a $100 membership, which costs $16 to get it graded. Uh, with a $350 membership I have with CGC, it costs $17. But this was $100. When you select a pre-screen, okay, they don't give you a price yet because they don't know if it's going to come back or if it's going to pass or not. But it would be $16, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Uh, not able to find your comic title. What did I misspell? Let's do this. Oh, I'll just select it. Oh, wait. There you go. That's what it wanted. Okay. It's all set. Save. Okay. So it says, there it is. Nine, four or higher. You see? Then I go down here and I add a comic. Boom. Next, we have Shazam. Shazam. Boom. Issue number one, boom. And what year is it? Am I going to be able to tell? Mm, damn it. So I'm going to really quick up look on uh, one of the benefits, I guess, on uh, CGC is sometimes it'll have it there. It'll have options, right? It'll have options for different dates. But here I go. I found it. February 1973, okay? That was an easy Google search. So let's go back. I'm going to go ahead and put 1973. Publisher is DC. I'll just put DC. Pedigree variant, no. Insured, 100 bucks. Okay, so on this one, oh, look. It's not modern, so it's going to be more expensive. It's $27. But we're going to go ahead and pre-screen. 9-0 or better is what I had written down. 9-0, okay? Shazam, number one, 1973. It's $27 because that is modern is usually at 1975, so that was 1973. So it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Save. Now we have two, you see, 9490. Next, add a comic. This is going to get worse price wise. Let's see the difference. Amazing, it should be $27 again. Amazing Spider Man, number 31. Year, yeah, that's a tough one. Let me guess, 1965, okay? Let me go ahead and <laughs> look it up though, really fast. Amazing Spider-Man number 31. It's December. I'm looking at Marvel Database. It is 1965. Oh, I was right. Right on. 1965. Publisher. Marvel. Comics. Boom. Variant. No. Insured value. 
I can't remember. I'm going to go ahead and put $200. I'm sure it's more. Um, and I put a pre-screen of a VG or better. This is one of those I'm not sure about yet. So that was also $27, okay? VG or better. I'm hoping for better or at least VG. Save. So we got a 9-4 and 4-0 and a 9-0. Look, you can't do this anywhere else. Does that make sense, guys? You can't do this. You have to pick 25 for CGC, and they all have to be the same grade or better. This is great because it doesn't have to be. So, okay, next. John... Burns Next Men. Boom. Issue number 21. Year. Damn it. Here we go again with the year. I'm guessing it's 1993. Let's double check. You can't see me double checking, but I don't want to open the books. You know what I mean? I don't want to open the books right now. John Brines. I would spell it wrong. Burned. Next man. Number 21. Date. It is 93. Damn it. It was 93. I'm pretty good with these guesses. Uh, okay, so the publisher was Dark Horse. Dark Horse Comics. I'm just going to put Dark Horse. Variant, no. Okay, so I have two of these. And unfortunately, they're the same grades. So I'm going to go ahead and quit quantity two. $100. Okay. I wanted nine, two or better on both, which is, if I, if they weren't nine, if it was a different grade, I would have put only one. So let me go ahead and put nine, two. Boom. Save. So we got two. See? Wait, why does that say pressing? Let's let's check that. Make sure I didn't do something wrong. Quantity two insured nine two screen. I don't think I put press. Oh, I see here. No, I see. It's just, it's it's splitting the modern books from the expanded, which is silver and bronze, okay? So that means nothing. It's just a copy of the top here. But that's good to know. Okay, next. Another comic. Add comic. We've got Marvel Team Up. Okay, number 141, this is uh, 84, I think, pretty sure on that, Marvel Comics variant, oh, you know what I should have done is checked if there were newsstands, huh, none of those other ones were, but this one is, I wonder if that, if there would be an option, I, I doubt it will matter, but go ahead, I'll put Oh, it does. Newsstand edition. Boom. Hell yeah, we're putting that on there, right? Put $100. And what did I have on that? That's a 9-4 or better. So we're going to go ahead and put a 9-4 on that sucker. And there we go. That's a little bit boring, but stick with me. Unless you're a sicko. That's cool. I got to put newsstand. How exciting. Isn't that boring? Oh, I got another one here. Marvel Superhero Secret Wars, number eight. Everyone's favorite. Is that also 84? Yeah, they're all 84. 1984. We got another newsstand, guys. Marvel. I wonder if they're going to put newsstand on it. That'd be cool. Let's go ahead and put news. Stand. Oh, no. Newsstand. Edition. Bam, dude. Insured, 100 bucks. I like that they offer that. This one I got a 9-4 or better. 
So I'm going to give it a 9-4. Boom. And save. Bing. Oh, shit. I don't know. If the... Was that other Shazam? got to check my Shazams. Shazam, yo. Yeah, that first Shazam wasn't a newsstand. But this one, this next one is, oh, shit. Add comic. Shazam. Biatch. Okay, Shazam. And then we got issue 28. Now, I can't remember what year that is. So let me type, let me double check. Shazam 28 date. I'm going to look it up really fast on the interwebs. Shazam number 28 date. 77. 1977. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that. Ooh, that would be a modern, thank God, I hope. Publisher, DC. Variant. Heck yeah, it's a newsstand, yo. Excited to put that. That book's way more. I'm going to put 200. Oh, shit. That was 1,200. Uh-oh. Something happened when I was screwed up the price. So there you go. I changed it back to modern grade screen. What do we have on that? I think we have an 8 0. Yeah, an 8 0. Boom. New stand yo. New stand yo. Okay. Save. Okay. We're keeping going. We're keeping going. Add comic. Captain America, baby. Issue 100. What is that? 1963? God, I bet it's 64, but I got to check. I think it's 63. Could be 65. America, number 100 date. Damn, it's 68, yo. Well, I was, whatever. 1968. Marvel. Comics. Variant. No. Insured. 200. What do I have on this? I'm going for a 7-0. I'm just going to go ahead and complete my entire thing. That's what she said. So, you don't see these books, but here we go. Add comic. Silver Surfer. Annual. Number four. That's, I got to look that up too. I'm guessing it's, I don't know, Silver Surfer. What is it, 70? Annual number four. Date. <laughs> Not that one. It brought me the wrong one, yo. Silver Surfer Annual, number four. Or is it just not? It's just it's an annual? No, it's not an annual, it is. It's just Silver Surfer, number four. It says... Nineteen sixty nine. Okay, so it's not the annual. It was my bad. Number four, nineteen sixty nine. We gotta go. To go ahead and give it a Marvel Comics up in this bag. Marvel Comics. It's not a variant. Insured. What we got this for? I don't know. I just took the prices off. Let me see. Three hundred. Let's do that. I think it brings it up now. The least I'll take on that one was a three five. So there you go, three five. All done, and then we're gonna go ahead and save. Boom. And I got one more comic in the press, and we're gonna have to go ahead and add that. We got Star Wars, Joe. 
You know what I'm saying? Star Wars. God dang it. Star Wars. Sorry, I'm having a technical difficulties. I'm here. I'm with you. Are you with me? Okay, so it's Star Wars number 42. What's the date on that? Is it like date? Nineteen eighty. Okay. So Star Wars forty two nineteen eighty. Marvel. It's not a new standard I would remember. Let's just do a hundred grading. I got it. I want a nine four on it or better. So there you go. Nine four boom boom boom. Save. Okay, this is the bonus part, you guys. The bonus part. Let me double check all these. ASM 4.0, CAP 7, Shazam 9, 35 Silver, 94, Shazam 28, 8, 94, 94, 9 twos. There's two of them. 361, 94. Okay. So I have one more book. This is the bonus of this video. It is the Thor. Okay. Issue 6. 2020, publisher Marvel, I'm going to show you here what's going on. Uh, variant, it's the second print, second, second printing, insured, stew, 100, well, let's watch this for, it's a 9-8, okay, but watch. Okay, I put grade screening, but now I'm going to add verified. Encapsulate, even if I know it's not going to fail. So, Donnie Cates, signed by Donnie Cates, add. When you do that, okay, it takes away the screen, screening. You can't pre screen a graded comic. Okay, so regardless, there it is. Save. Now, it's funny. It should charge me for that one. Okay, so for that, just to get it graded, and and if it get, comes back, well, it's going to get graded something, uh, $41 to get the verification. Everything else is uncharged. So that's it, guys. That's how you fill it out, different grades that you would like. And if, if you don't get, let's say I did, what, 12, 11, if four of them, or if three of them aren't go, don't pass, I still, I won't have to pay the $4. But if like five of them don't pass, I'll pay $4 a book, which is still cheaper. Which is really cool. So, I hope that guys, I hope that helped you guys um, somehow. So then I'll, I'll I'm going to print it out now and get it prepped and get it ready for shipment on Tuesday because today's a holiday and wish me luck guys uh, but that's how you submit pre-screen stuff on cbcs and i think it's well worth doing especially if you don't have 25 books to pre-screen all nine eights and you're doing stuff like you know these type of things where they all have to be individual it's a great deal hope you guys enjoyed please hit that sub button there's not going to be any ending to oh yeah here's an ending Here's an ending for you. I didn't think I'd be able to do the ending. You guys need to check out these discount codes. They're for you. Have a good one.